What's up, Internet? My name's Ian Bloom. Welcome to Nerd Finance. I'm your resident financial life planner and huge nerd. In today's episode, we are going to be covering a topic that's been bothering me for at least the past eight years, which is what is the value of a home in Skyrim converted to real world money? Now, I know this is, is an especially nerdy topic and much like the Let's Go video that I did last year on how much money you would earn as a Pokemon trainer in the Let's Go series, this is gonna be a little bit of a deep dive into something that's ultimately pretty silly. But I find that these videos are fun to do every once in a while and you guys seem to watch them. So I'm going to keep making them. For the purposes of this video, we used Proud Spire Manor, which is albeit the nicest home in Skyrim. It's located in the capital city of Solitude and features two bedrooms and a servant's quarters, as well as full furnishings and being very, very well appointed and easily accessible near the Blue Palace for 39,000 septims. So that can be the foundation for how we compare property values to real life. Because if you didn't know this, Skyrim's Nordic culture is very much based off of Swedish culture here in the real world. So we can make some assumptions that solitude is referring to Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, which means that what we really need to do is find a comparable home in Sweden somewhere. And I just wanna take a second for you all to appreciate how hard that was. You see, finding homes for sale in foreign countries in English is pretty slim pickings. There are certainly websites out there that are real estate focused that are trying to get me to buy a home in Sweden, but uh, there's not a lot of homes on there. And frankly, not a lot of them are in downtown Stockholm. So I did manage to find two comps, which we'll use. One was worth about 1.2 million and one was worth about 2 million. The difference between these two comparable homes was their number of bedrooms ranging from two or four and their proximity to downtown Stockholm. Now, being that the two comps were worth about 1.2 and $2 million respectively, that suggests that we could buy Proud Spire Manor today in Sweden, downtown Stockholm for about 1.6 million, which is pretty cool things to know. So that 39,000 septums that you had to accumulate on your character in Skyrim, in order to be the wealthiest landowner is about 1.6 million. So your character is a millionaire, congratulations. Now, perhaps more interestingly, what this suggests is that the conversion ratio means that a septum is worth about 41 US dollars today, which, you know, honestly seems pretty realistic. I could probably go out and buy a gold coin with a cool design on it for $41 today, right? Another point of comparison for this, just to get your beak wet, is that if you wanted to go out and buy a Daedric sword today, which in Skyrim costs about 1,250 septums, you'd be spending about $52,000 on that, which seems pretty fair for the flesh of a fallen demigod, if you're asking me. I mean, I don't know what the going rate for demigod parts is around you know, the US, but $52,000 seems like a pretty good amount of money to charge for that all in a day's work, am I right? Anyway, I hope this video was interesting to you. It was kind of fun to research and I enjoyed spending some time on it. Skyrim is one of my favorite games and I've been playing it for a very, very long time. I just wish that they would put out Elder Scrolls 6. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this, or if you have some real financial planning questions and you know might not be focused on what the price of a sword made out of a demigod costs, you can feel free to go over to my website, openworldfp.com, and do some research on the services that my firm offers. Have a wonderful day, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.